hello guys assalamu alaikum welcome back to another video so in this video i'm gonna show you how you can install php storm in your windows operating system and how to connect php storm with your php and how to write here any php code and execute it okay so before i start this tutorial make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for never miss any update so let's start it so first of all you need to open your favorite browser and search for php storm and as you can see you need to visit the first link which is appear here which is from www.jetbrings.com just visit the link and once you click on it it will show you this kind of web page where as you can see php storm is a lighting smart php ide okay so for download this php storm you need to click on the download and as you can see at the time making this video the php storm version is 2022.1.4 and for install this here is the system requirement which is 64 bit version of windows 2 gb free ram and 2.5 gigahertz hard disk free space okay so as you can see at the top of the download option it's a php storm include free 30 days trial so that means php storm is a not a free software in this video we are going to activate our php storm with our jetbrings free license account okay so if you don't know how to create a free license account in jetbrings.com don't worry about it check out the link in the description below where i show you the process how you can create a free license account in jetbrings.com okay so now just simply click on the download to download this php storm and as you can see it's around 416.25 mb okay just download it so once our download is complete just open the folder and as you can see here is our php storm exe file so for install this you need to double click on it and once you double click on it it will show you the welcome to php storm setup so here you just simply choose here next and after that there is the choose installation location here is our destination folder where our php storm is installed and here is the space require which is 1.8 gb so after that just choose here again next and here is the installation option so here you need to check mark the option as like me which is going to create a desktop shortcut update your context menu create your association and last one is update the path variable in our environment variable okay then just again click on the next and here is the start menu folder i just set it as by default and choose here install and as you can see our installation is started so once our installation is complete it will say you your computer must be restarted in order to complete the installation of php storm okay so at this point you need to choose here reboot now and choose here finish and it will automatically restart your pc okay so once our restart is complete now it's time to open our php storm just double click on it so once you double click on it it will show you this message which is import php storm settings i just choose here do not import settings and click on ok so once you open the php storm it will show you this license page where you need to activate your php storm or you can start your trial okay 
so i have a free license account so i activate this php strong with my jetbrings free license account okay so for doing this you need to click on the activate php strong and get license from choose here jb account and click on the login to jetbrings account okay and once you click on it it will bring you to the browser and tell you to log in their website which have free license account so i just simply log in my free license account okay so as you can see our authorization is successful now i can close this page and return to my php strom ide okay and as you can see here is our license just choose here activate to active this and as you can see our license is activate and here is the subscription date so now simply choose here continue so for run any php code you need to create here a new project just click on the new project so once you click on it so as you can see at the left side of this page how many project you can open through this php storm you can open all of this project okay like angular angular js bootstrap express node js react react native view.js okay so now from here i just simply choose here php project just choose here php empty project and in the location you can give here your project name and click on the create and as you can see this is the interface of php storm you need to right click on your project and choose here php file and then you need to give here your php file name and click on ok so as you can see now you can write here any php code ok so i just simply write here a hello world code so for run this code you can see here some of browsers and php storm icon you can run this code on the php storm or you can go for any of browsers which you already install in your pc okay so i just simply choose here chrome browser and once you click on it it will show you this pop-up window where you need to choose here the allow access and as you can see our code is not run here and it show a error which is 502 bat gateway but don't worry about it this error showing you because of you don't connect your php with your php storm that's why the chrome browser showing you this error okay so for solve this error you need to close the browser and as you can see it's showing you a notification of php interpreter is not configured so just click on the configure php interpreter okay so before you configure the php language first you need to ensure that the php already installed in your pc or windows operating system otherwise you cannot configure the php with your php storm okay so if you don't know how to install the php latest version in your windows operating system don't worry about it check out the link in the description below where i show you the process how you can do that okay so after the php install you can configure the php in your php storm so for doing this you need to click on these dots and click on this plus icon and if you already install your php then you can see your php here just choose here and it will automatically interpret your php okay so then just click on ok and as you can see it will automatically detect our php and again click on ok so now you need to again click on the chrome browser to run this code and as you can see here is our output which is hello world okay 
so i hopefully guys you properly understand how you can install the php storm in your windows operating system and how to connect php with your php storm and run any code here okay so don't forget to like comment and share and if you like this type of video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for never miss any update and i will see you guys in this next one inshallah thank you so much